Good evening. Today's gonna be a little bit different of a tutorial. I have become a sock. <laughs> That's disgusting. We're gonna have a tutorial on Lex's feet. So honey, what'd you do today on Easter? Lex taught me how to become a sock. Clearly this was just a very spur of the moment tutorial of how to become Le Sock. This is actually the actual sock and they're from Living Royal and I had them on and I'm like, I think I could paint that on. If anybody makes any weird comments about like my feet or anything like that, those comments are gonna be gone because you know what? I'm only allowed to freak you guys out. You guys are not allowed to freak me out. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have the feeling of what is even happening on my YouTube channel right now, but that's okay because I kind of have the same feeling. I'm gonna start off by outlining all of the patches that I know are not going to be having any kind of color of green in them. And remember when you guys are outlining this that you are actually doing the reverse of what the other sock is, which can be kind of difficult. I'm also going to be skipping this little band-aid on the socks because I'm not really a fan. Go ahead and paint the rest of your foot green. I'm just going to do my entire foot because it's really going to be inspired by the socks as opposed to like showing the outline of the socks themselves. Obviously, you're going to want to wash your brushes after doing this considering they're all over your feet. I'm also trying to keep the paint a little bit more patchy since the socks are a little patchy as well. These are monster feet. They're not princess feet. Because I am doing this inspired off the socks, I am also going to keep the edge where the socks would end. For my toes, I'm just going to paint on a really dark green as well as blend a little bit of black around the corners. I'm then using the Take Me to Brazil palette to add some highlights exactly where they are on the socks. Which is also underneath the cuts and just generally around the socks. Any areas that you feel like might need a little bit more help and a little bit more of a pop of color, you guys can go in with lime green body paint as well. Painting other body parts aside from your face, if you want to actually be a body painter like I am outside of YouTube, this is a really good place to start because these are body parts you can see. They're also really hard to film. I'm trying like not to get my hand in the middle of the shot. But actually being a body painter is more than just painting faces, it's painting entire bodies. I also just realized this monster foot only has four toes, but we're just gonna completely disregard that because I have five. On the actual socks themselves, when you don't have them on, they also have a little highlight on the toes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that as well. I'm then gonna be taking the NYX Primal Colors in Hot Blue and filling in all of the blue sections that are on the socks. And I'm not saying that being a body painter like means that you sit around and paint feet all day, but you know, if the look calls for it, you better be all for painting someone's foot. There's also a lighter blue that kind of surrounds that and highlights that, so I'm adding that in as well using light blue body paint. Using a mix of tan and white body paint, I'm then going ahead and filling in all of the bones at a very, very awkward angle to try to get this on camera. I'm then going to be taking red body paint. I already know that my hand is more than likely in front of the camera, but I need to be able to reach this angle. And I'm going around the bones. Only in spots where I see red on the other side as well. Because there's a little bit of an outline around the bones, which is more than likely just like the printing of the socks, so you could actually see everything defined. I'm still going to go in and outline the bones in a little bit of brown. Being a body painter is honestly like one of the most fun jobs in the world. Like you would think that sometimes it would get a little bit weird that you're like painting people's bodies or things like that, but it's just like turning people into characters or making them something totally different is just, it's so much fun to do and you don't even like realize that you're painting a body because so often you just look at it like a canvas. Like it's not like you're looking at it like, oh, I'm painting someone's butt or someone's toes like you don't even realize it because it's like you're painting the character's body. Now I completely understand that they probably only had so much room to like print detail on the socks which makes complete sense to me but I'm also going to shade and fill in these sections with black like they are on the socks but also 
shading the holes as well. And also like really hoping that my hand is not in the way too much in this tutorial because I'm really trying the best I can to keep my hand out of it. There's also a little bit of shading on these bones, so I'm going in with some brown eyeshadow and just giving it some of that shading. Now even though socks don't have like these defined green lines around the holes, I'm also gonna be adding just this very fine highlight. And just adding that subtle green highlight really helps with like the cartoony effect of a hole. I'm then painting on the stitches using white body paint. To shade each stitch, I'm just going in with a little tiny, tiny bit of brown eyeshadow on each side, and then also shade with a very little, tiny bit of black. Taking black body paint, I'm then making little dots on each side of the stitch where they're going into my skin, and then drawing my line of the cut that it's holding closed. You guys can also draw a highlight right next to that if you want it to stand out a little bit more. Because I'm painting socks, I'm actually gonna go ahead and paint in all these little lines. Obviously not like the whole entire pattern of the uh, fabric, because that would be ridiculous, but I am gonna take the time to draw the lines. Which also do change where the color is too, so be sure to pay attention to that. And for the white lines in the socks, I'm just going to dot them in so it looks a little bit more like fabric. And just for fun, I'm also gonna add some wrinkles in there. While this isn't super defined, I'm also gonna add a little bit of a shadow on my body, just using super light brown eyeshadow. Ta-da! I have become a sock. 